Good morning, party people. Oh, it's Randy for Thunder Horse Descendants. I'm here in my pajamas today because it's Friday. It's Friday. It has been a week, y'all. <laughs> Good morning. Who's all here this morning? Good morning, Linda. Hi, Anita. Hello. Good day. Hello, Kim. Rosanna's in the house. Hello, Linda. Good morning, Beth. What's good, Beth? In the house. Good morning. Hi, Mary. Miss Mary, Miss Mary. Miss Mary, Miss Mary, I just wrote you a little letter in your order. It's on the way. I kind of wrote everybody a little letter this week. I'm just like, I guess I have time. <laughs> For the important things. We're having coffee this morning. Everybody says, what are we doing? I don't know what we're doing. We're doing, we're going to, we're going to do stuff. That's what we're doing. Is this just life without Shannon? Yeah. This is life without Shannon. I'm like, oh, I need a break. Yeah. On a Friday. I hope all goes well. Good morning. <laughs> Hi, Elizabeth. Miss Barb is here. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Tina. Good morning, PK. Linda's here. Good morning. Yeah. So, uh, things and stuff. What's going on? It's Friday. We made it to Friday. I'm super excited about <clears throat> going to the store today. But before I go to the store, I have a bunch of things I got to do. Um, so I'm just like slowly getting my morning going. I'm just like, oh, I was supposed to sleep in today till seven because I always sleep in on Fridays because Shannon doesn't come Fridays. So she's not here super early. So I'm just like, oh, yeah, I'm going to sleep till seven. And then winter was like, um, excuse me, miss. It is 6 a.m. You need to get up. <laughs> Good morning. Happy Friday. Dawn Dragon Slayer's in the house. Hey, -o. Going to the, for the store is fun because it's work, but it's shopping for beads and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so it's fun work, right? So I have, oh, I can show you. I finished, uh, I finished up Angel's earrings this morning. Still, my bead mat is a mess. And I was like, oh, we got to do another day of bead mat cleaning. And then I'm just like, I don't feel like it. <laughs> so instead, I decided we're going to do a little shopping on the internet or something. We're going to do a little internet exploration for funsies. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, because I don't want to. Yeah, that was me this morning. PK. I'm like, I don't want to. I put together my shelf that came from uh, Amazon yesterday. I put pictures in the group of me like, I was like, I can do this. There was 56 screws for the shelf that I bought for Phyllis. Thank you so much for my stuff I ordered. You are welcome. Um, and so, good morning, Lori. Oh, no. A bruised bone and a torn meniscus. Oh, that's not good. I'm sorry to hear about that. This whole knee situation with everybody is just not great. I did my stretches this morning. My, uh, my little, uh, what are they? The physical therapy stretch doings. I did that. <sighs> good morning, Teresa. <laughs> Since I have retired, I don't really want to get... I don't really get done because I don't have to. <laughs> yeah. So, you guys, I put together this shelf. There was 56 screws. I get all the way to the other side. And there, so like these pieces came soldered together. There was four pieces. The four pieces were soldered together. On one of the pieces that soldered, they soldered it on wrong. Like, there was no holes to put the screws. They were to the inside. They were supposed to be to the outside. 
So I get all the way to that one and I'm like, what the heck? So now I can't screw it into the wood part. So I call Amazon and I told them, hey, we have a problem. So this guy says, well, we can't help you. You can return it. And I said, that's fine. I'll return it. Where do I take it? And I said, I'm not taking it apart, though, because I just put 56 screws in it. It took an hour and a half. It's like, that's not a problem. If you want to come get it, it's ready to go. <laughs> he didn't want it. <laughs> so anyway, um, I was like, well, I guess we have an issue. And he's like, well, I can't help you with this problem. And I think he was trying to hint to me that I need to speak with someone else. So I said, well, is there someone else I can speak with? But I guess you have to say the word supervisor. And he's like, well, like who? in the company because we don't have a someone else department and i was like oh okay like a supervisor and he's like okay sure so but you know me i'm like well i guess me and you are gonna have to figure it out because that's what i told him he was like well i can't help you and i was like well i guess me and you are gonna have to figure it out if there's no one else to help me because i need help anyway i got to talk to the supervisor and they gave me a 50 dollars credit on my amazon account which made the shelf $38 instead of $84, which I guess is fine. <sighs> anyway. But I was just like, you cannot just be selling shoddy products, Amazon. Oh, you guys, when I sit in my chair, you know what I found out about my knee injury? I really like to sit with my one leg crossed, like in my chair, like put my leg up and like put it over here. And that's not good. And I was just going to do it. When I had my knee brace on for all that time, I couldn't do it because it wouldn't allow me to. And now that I don't have my knee brace, I'm like, ooh. And then I'm like, nope. <laughs> anyway. I can't sit like that at all. <laughs> ah. Okay. So, yeah. We're tootling around the internet today. Let's go over to the interwebs. Okay. Let's just see what's crack-a-lacking over here. We're on Facebook. Okay, what's up, Facebook? What you got going on, Facebook? I have a question. How do you store your strong beads? Do you leave them on the string or do you take them off and store them in little bags <clears throat> or smaller containers? This question is from Leanna. I answered and I said that I leave my beads on the strand until I use them, like if I use them in a project. And then once I've cut the strand, then I put them into their boxes. So FYI on that. Oh yeah, here's me putting the shelf together. 56 screws later. See, this is generally Jefferson's job. He always puts everything together. And I was just like, oh no, I have to do it by myself. By my onesie. <laughs> Gotta just do it by your onesie. Kim made these. I thought they were super cute with the leather on the back. I didn't even think about that. And now that I see it, I really like it. I would probably do a little bit of like pop painting, like on the either the leather or the metal part, but it's really cool. It's making these little tags. Oh, Kim, of course, with her little tags. Look at that. Those are cute. Kim, are you on here this morning? We are outliving our warranty? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, your husband is taking care of you? Well, that is good. Hooray for the husbands. There's Miss Gina doing her little beady things. Her little bead weaving earrings. Super cute. And her clay. Who's this? Amy. Oh yeah, Amy was talking about she had this pendant for a long time. So this is what's crack a lacking on our Facebook group. Everybody's doing their stuff. There's Ange. Who's this? A Rivoli? It is a Rivoli. Oh, this is what she made. I sent her this Rivoli as a gift. Ange, are you on here? Miss Ange, Miss Ange, are you on today? 
I don't know if Miss Ange is on today, but if she were, maybe she'll watch us in the replay. These little uh, findings right here, you can push them over. It's almost like a filigree. You can push them over with um, with like a plier or something, and then it'll like hold it in. And it'll look really nice. Just FYI on that. Super cute. Angel is on it. Angel Is Angel on here? Angel better get her store open pretty soon or she ain't going to have no place to store all this wonderful goodness. Look at those stars. Those are cute. That is a stone. What stone is that? With the blue and the white and the gray. Oh, it's not coming to me. Let's Google it. No, it's not that. No. No. Does not seem right. I cannot find it. I've seen this stone before, but I can't remember the name. It's kind of looking like blue shield light, but I don't think that's what it is. That's cute. I like it. Those are Miss Bonnie's earrings. Let's see if Miss Bonnie put them in her shop. Bonnie, XO. Hi, Bonnie. Oh, she says, no, they're not in there. <laughs> Those are beads by Miss Bonnie. Well, let's just take a look at the inventory, body. What does it say? All items come from a pet and smoke-free home. Read more. We'll have happy to adjust links if possible. Okay. These are the, these are the featured items. Are these the newest items when they're featured? No. Featured, you could just get to pick, right? Most recent. Okay. Okay. She's getting her Easter life together. Looks like baby spring stuff. I like that. $8. Fine. That's for me. It should be more than eight dollars, by the way. These are cute. For her. I have a little hand like this. I should give it to Amber so that she can um so she can use it for the photos. I think I gave her a white one. Check, 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 check it out. Hi. Good morning. We're shopping. Ooh. Uh-oh. Did y'all hear that?
the wind just took my back door off the hinges. Like the screen door. <gasps> Is you okay? Is you okay, Lou? It's scary out there. You better just stay in the house with mama. Yeah. Yeah, you just stay in here. It's really windy here, clearly. <laughs> Watch out. No, no, no. You're okay. You're okay. You go lay down. You are lowering them, lowering them. You're cleaning out the, cleaning out the inventory. <clears throat> okay, Bonnie, can I make a suggestion for you if you're, if you're going to clean out inventory? I would, I will see if you want my suggestion <laughs> before I just start giving out suggestions. Cute. She said yes. Okay, so um, if you want to do a lower price, what I would do is I would set a sale price. Instead of lowering the actual price, I would put them on sale on Etsy uh, for a percentage or what have you. Because a lot of times, I'll just show you like what happens is like people because people will come in here and they will say let's search for a necklace let's search for um a, uh what do we got a, a z bead bracelet because that's what's in my cart okay so they're gonna search for that right here on the filters okay um you're gonna say all filters and you're gonna go down here and you are going to put Oh, they changed it. You are going to put, um, there's a, where is it? Right here. It's on my phone. It's different, but right here, it'll say, are you, I only want to see things that are offering free shipping and I only want to see things that are on sale and people can search that way. And a lot of people do that. So now it's going to show me a thousand bracelets that are on sale and that have shipping so uh the only way to put it on sale is to obviously do like this where they you know where you actually put it on the sale where it's got the crossed out numbers and then you'll come up in that search so if you are going to do a discount and clean out your stuff anyways i would do that so then at the very least the people who are searching for sale items would you would pop up in their search because once you get your sale items you can also filter by lowest price and a lot of people will do that so the lowest on sale price right here is 39.95 so they're going to start looking at those first so if you're going to do that anyway and clean out your inventory that might be an option for you to try that's what I would do. But as you can see, the ZB bracelets, very, very similar to yours, uh, on sale, the lowest one is $39.95. Okay, just saying. Well, this one's $22. Sometimes when you do the sometimes when you do the filtering, oh here's one that's on string. This one's $29. So sometimes when you, um, oh, it's because it switched back. Sometimes when you do the filtering, it can get a little weird because sometimes people have like options in their listing. So like they might have a set and they'll say like, oh, you could buy the bracelet for $29, but you can also have the earrings for $15 or whatever. And so when you, you Google by the price or when you Google, when you search by the price, it'll pop up the lowest price, which would be the earrings. Okay, so sometimes that's weird. But yeah, that's what I would do if you're you're planning to clean out any inventory because at the very least, you're gonna get pulled up in, in that. And most of the time when people are looking for a specific thing that is on sale, um, they are ready to purchase, you know what I mean? Because people love a sale, you know? So there you go, options. Ooh, look at this. What is this? 
an ammonite bracelet with a z-bead agate stretch bracelet cotton pearl bracelet beachy vibes well i got a video that's cool i like that anyway on to the next go back Not to put anybody on the spot or anything, I'm just saying. <laughs> These are things that I've kind of been looking at. Melissa sent me this. She was like, is this the vibe? And I was like, no. These are invitations for the wedding in Vegas. She's going to design them, but she was just like, "Is are you trying to do this like Las Vegas vibe thing? And I'm like, mm, no. It's got like the Las Vegas sign and everything. I'm just trying to show it to you, but I can't, I guess. Well, there it is. But no, that's not the vibe. I thought this gal was interesting. She is selling like the whole works, like the whole kit to make kind of like native design earrings. Although I did message her and uh, I was like, hey, did this, does this like, is there like instructions for this or is this just like a do your own kind of kit situation? Um, and she did not get back to me. So there's that. But they got different colorways. I thought it was cute. It's a cute idea. You get the cabochons and all the beads and the needles and the glue and the whole bit. Those are fun. I like that. <laughs> green the wind must be blowing yeah it's gonna storm well like i said like literally the the wind just ripped my uh screen door off the hinges in the back door like the chain broke and came off and then it's like half hanging off i have to fix that later hey i like these stickers one beat at a time and it didn't cost me a dime Da, 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 da. these are fun I have some beads like this these are like the Ashanti beads right not the Ashanti beads the uh we talked about these one day because I got some in a box and I didn't know what they were I think it was Mary who told me they're from Africa but I can't remember what they're called they're not the Ashanti beads right maybe it says in the description Handmade black and white Kazuri beads. I'm probably not saying that correctly. Yeah, so they're very cool. I like them. What else has Randy been looking at on the on the Etsy things? Oh, stationary scoops. Just like random stationary. <laughs> Cause we love that for me uh random things for my apothecary also love that for me these are called crystal scoops if you are interested you can order them i've never ordered one i have thought about ordering some at christmas time but i hadn't gotten that far mostly because i get most of my stuff from tf but they look pretty right everything looks really cool I love a grab bag. I can't help it. I'm just like, yeah, what do you got? That's fun. I <laughs> Seems fun. So there you go. I've been looking at digital downloads on Etsy, which is a good place to get your digital downloads if you're looking for something. I've been looking at stickers and earrings. And I've been looking at these earrings for a long time. These are from Rosanna's shop. They are very cool. It's 
broke and it got crackalacking today. Oh yeah, I was looking at one of these, uh, <clears throat> what do you call them? They're crowns, right? Do you call them crowns? No, what do you call them? I was looking at one of these for the wedding. I had messaged her and she said that she had this one available. Why can't I click it? A circlet? A circlet. It is a woman's collective in Africa. They learned how to make the glaze beads and they feed their families that way. Only a few authorized reps here in the U.S. to sell their beads and they are spendy. Yeah, I got a whole bunch of those in like a grab bag one time or a thrift box or something. And I was like, what is this? And then I was like, oh, that's cool. So I learned something new there. Yeah, I like this one, Rosanna. The only thing is, is it's very uh, it's giving me Art Deco vibes instead of like um, Art Nouveau vibes. You know what I mean? Because the lines are straight. I don't know if that makes sense. But I do like it. I am going to be wearing one of those headdresses. I'm going to be wearing a headdress. I have to. Let me see if I can show you what I'm talking about. EAU headdress. I don't think that's spelled correctly. Yeah, like this. Which, I want to try to make one of these. I was looking at them on here, but I want to try to make one. Um, to my own specifications. I've ordered a bunch of filigree. It's not going to be gold, obviously, because we're doing silver. But, uh... I think they're really cool. What kind of headdress? This is the headdress, right? So this is more the vibe that I was kind of going with or that I wanted to kind of check out. Um, so this is one example. I think this gal has some other ones too. Like here's a silver one, which would be fine, but I'm like, I can make this, you know? I could probably make it and make it more to my specifications. They have a lot of them on here. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of looking for like a silver one with emerald green, but I didn't quite come across that. This one's cool. I did get some of this filigree. And so those of you who are helping out with the, uh, also it's $500 basically. Um, those of you who are helping out with the, vid, uh, with the wedding jewelry, who will be helping out with that, I have ordered us a whole bunch of silver filigree. It's a loot. It's like aluminum type, but I'm like, whatever. Who's going to know? This is cute because it's got quartz. You know, I love quartz. Maybe this is something you might want to try out, Rosanna. Have you ever made one of these before? For your, for your uh, renaissance? I... I don't know if anybody else goes to the Renaissance type fairs and stuff. I guess, to be honest with you, though, I don't know if this is considered Renaissance. Is that something that they would do at the Renaissance fair? It feels like it should be. This one's cool because it's got the long dangly bits. You know me, I love the long dangly bits. She says no, but she sure, certainly could try. I was really amped up to try one last week, but then I got distracted with, you know, work things. <laughs> Um, but I like this one where it's got the long stuff on the bottom. That's kind of cool. Good morning. So this might be something we could look into. It's really fun for me. And I don't know if you guys like this kind of thing, but it's really fun for me. Like when I get into something or I discover something or whatever, like I do history stuff and I'm like, oh, what is this all about? And then I'm like, oh, cool. Can I make that? Can I like... Can I take some of these designs and like, you know, figure them out for myself? And like, is this like a thing? And then I've, I'm like, oh, apparently it's a thing because these people are doing it. What is this? Half body female display forms with robot arms. Okay, that's that's kind of cool. <laughs> like, I, I gotta dig this. This is funny. 
Yeah, I was gonna say they're, I, they're not eighty dollars. They're for the whole mannequin, wig only, no wig, form and arms, four hundred and ninety four dollars. <laughs> I like this. These could be my friends. Look at them. They're so colorful. I don't like where the pendant piece sits. It would be over the ears. Yeah, I, that's the point, Rosanna. That was that was the deal. Um, so if we Google uh, Art Nouveau headdresses, because I, I, the only reason I know is because I, I looked into it. From the time, from the time period, uh, it's, it just basically says that, um, so they were over the ears, but it was basically just, a, um, I read some papers on it and they, they just basically said there was no reason for it. It was just another way to express jewelry. Like it was jewelry that they just, that's how they did it. It was, there was like no rhyme or reason to it. Which I think is kind of interesting because remember when we were researching those, like the necklace that connects to the arm with the chain that goes to the arm and that was in like England. Um, Cause I thought those were interesting as well. But yeah, so it's, it's kind of like supposed to meant to, to do that, I guess. Look at this gal, 1900. Art Nouveau jewelry, and then they threw in Art Deco headpiece, vintage costumes. I don't know if people do that because they just are like, oh, we want to get found in the search or what. They got some real serious ones. Look at this. Let's get, uh, that's fun. Now this looks like it goes around the back of the head. I think it would just be irritating. <laughs> Well, and the other thing they did is they did a lot of flowers, like, uh, well, of course, back in the day, they were quote unquote real flowers, but like now they're doing a lot of headdresses with, uh, fake, you know, fake flowers. So they're like this, but they got like fake flowers on. And I guess that was a thing. I don't know. I'm into it. I'm into all of it. I'm just like, yes, I want to know everything. Shh, tell me what you're working with. So any hootie, this is the goings on with that. Yeah, look at this one. I would like to be a princess. Yes. Could you see me going in this? What do I think? <laughs> the next thing I'm going to try is fairy ears. Oh, you're going to do, is that fairy festival? Fairy, fa fae, fae festival? That's the goals. I don't know if it's going to really work out. Um, but I guess I will try it. It's kind of interesting. They have like, uh, so these are kind of like buttons. These, these look very familiar, like buttons from Hobby Lobby, these guys that are inside the filigree, which they probably wire wrapped in. And then these are probably glued on in some sort of way. I mean, it all looks very interesting to me with my, you know, how I like to engineer different types of things and things of that nature. Uh, so it's, it's very interesting. Then she's got a little thing that goes around the back of the head, like a tie, so it doesn't fall forward. It's kind of giving me She-Ra vibes. Do you guys remember She-Ra? I love She-Ra. It's got some, um, some rivalies and then honestly like these down here are earrings like we could just take just chop these off and have yourself a lovely earring day and you could probably even go with this and get a necklace <laughs> so i'm like can't be that hard right we can make necklaces and earrings and whatever else we're on it we, we got this Ooh, see now 
Now they're getting a little artsy over here with their butterflies and their little sticks. This is probably maybe for a costume or something. But like, people are doing this. They're selling this stuff. You know? It's very pretty. I don't know where I would wear that, but you know, maybe if I was, had some kind of thing going on, I, I might do that. A gothic headdress. This is kind of giving me the Evil Queen vibes from um, Once Upon a Time. Which I love her style, by the way. The Evil Queen from Once Upon a Time, the show. Love her. Regina. Beaded caps. This one's got... What is that? Is that Egyptian? No. It kind of looked like Egyptian scarabs at first, but those are raven heads and wings. So this appears to be two separate pieces. So this is the headdress part and then there's like a face mask part. is kind of interesting. Wowza. I know, right? Um, oh, and so then anyways, yesterday I was talking to my friend Matt. Uh, ooh, look at the snake. Okay, this is giving Egyptian vibes. Oh, I like the collar. Very pretty. It's very intricate. It's got a lot of details. The little beads down here. Very cool. Um, I was talking to my friend Matt about the wedding. And we were looking for a paisley tie for him. And uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull it up. <sighs> because I don't know what it's called. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go back to what we originally searched. <clears throat> So it's a piece of jewelry. I don't know if it's like a tie clip. It's not a clip. Chain. Pushing buttons. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> okay, so these are like brooch and tie chains that men would wear in the 1800s. Hi. Hello. Right? So we were looking at these and I was trying to find... Um, I was trying to find one so I can give an example.
So this is, <coughs> excuse me. So they're calling this a lapel pin. Right, where it's got chains and some I saw some like when me and Matt were looking I saw somewhere they have it like so it's like this but it's like connected to the tie but also connected to the jacket anywho I'm sharing this information because we will have male guests at our wedding who will need jewelry to wear here we go this is kind of the vibe what is this called Square brooch with chain. They're just calling it a brooch. So they're just calling it a brooch. I can't see many men wearing it and wearing this. Oh, they will at this wedding. Oh, yes, they will. <laughs> uh, so... I get. I was thinking it was attached to the tie for some reason. I, I think some of them are attached to the tie and some are not. I don't know how it works. But anyways, this is a whole vibe. This is a vibe. And this is a vibe from the 1800s, which is within our time period, right? Here's another, like, this guy's got his little bow tie on with just, like, a little tie with a little, like, brooch situation. Oh, this is like a pin. It's an actual pin. Remember the other day when we were reading about the laws they made about the pins? This is one of those. Or it's got the little ends on it. This is a new thing. You'd be surprised what men are wearing these days. Yeah. Well, it's actually an old thing, is what I'm trying to say. It's actually an old thing. So this guy has like a chain here, but this is just like a pocket watch situation. This is, this is not what I was going for. But they are talking about the pins. This is Prince Albert and Queen Victoria. But there was like a chain that would go um, for the watch. Although I don't think, now that I'm looking at this, I don't think that's what that is. Shirt studs. Shirt studs and watch chains. A necklace that could be used to suspend eyeglasses <clears throat> and a gold headed cane were also used, were also within the norm. A gentleman's watch chain was one of the last areas of personal expression allowed by society. A decorative watch key or ornamental locket with hair mementos, a fob or two were deemed appropriate. The Prince of Wales, Albert, wore elaborate match and pencil cases on his watch chain. Tokens of friendship and sentiment mementos were popular amongst men as they were with women. Locks of hair, secret away secreted away in hidden lockets were suspended from a men's watch chain or from a ring that had been treasured by his beloved wife okay that's interesting a sign it signified a cause signified a cause his wife supported interesting they put a ring on the watch chain to signify that whatever he was doing his wife supported him in that decision that's very interesting and why would you need to show that to the world i don't understand okay but anyway antique jewelry university in case you're wondering <laughs> men have purchased some of my beaded necklaces some of the stone next where the yeah well there was a big pearl influx uh, amongst men recently. You can thank uh, Machine Gun Kelly for that. So, anywho, where do you, where do you do most of your shows, Gloria? Shirt studs are for shirt cuffs. Stick pins for my shows. I hope they sell. Well, fun. I hope they sell as well. Yeah, 
So anyways, that's kind of, I guess it's just a brooch with a chain. I'm just letting you guys know because we're going to start making this stuff pretty soon. I got to shore up all the things and stuff. Other fun facts. Um, Dilusions just dropped a new bunch of stuff. This is Ranger Ink, if you are unaware. My other love is paper. <laughs> so this is where I get my, um, this is where I get my journals and stuff from, like my bead books that I use is from Ranger Ink. RangerInk.com is what used to make uh, patina paint. They don't make patina paint anymore, okay? But they do make all the, they've moved into like different things. So, um, Dilusions Lady, Diane, this is where I get my journals. I'll just show you those in case you're wondering, um, for my bead books. So you have to go under planners and accessories. And then here's the deal where you can like build your own book if you want to. Okay. So they have a little bundle. You can just do that. This has different books and papers and things of that nature. But I like to use this paper because it's the heavy duty paper. You can paint on it. You can um, do all the things and it doesn't go through the other side. Okay, so that's why I like to use that. They're interchangeable. I like the dialogue system. This is all called a dialogue system, right? Because I go through a lot of bead books and I don't want to have 80 million books laying around. So I started using these. However, they just recently dropped a new thing. So these are their new inks. Right here. So um, these are archival ink. Archival means oil ink. These are like ink pads um, that you can use in your book. And these are oil based, so they are permanent. And um, so most of the time they really focus on like Tim Holtz and he's more got a grungy style. So I was excited to see that these ones are like super colorful. So I have all of her paints and that's how I do my bead book uh, backgrounds and stuff with the paints. So these are the same colors except for an ink. So I was super excited about that. Just saying anyways about that. Um, and then they sell them individually, but here they, they launched this new journal and I'm curious about it. So I kind of seen a little video about it. So this is a larger journal. It's a larger ledger journal, which I thought might be interesting for beaters because they really have not great photos on here. Um, but so it's a larger size. I think it's like, like the size of a regular notebook. Why can I not see the whole thing? There we go. But it has ledger parts. I don't know if you guys can see this. Okay, like legit ledger paper. And I thought, and it also has dot paper and plain paper. It like has all these different papers in it, but it has these. And this is what I used to use before I used a digital system to keep track of my, my SKU numbers on my jewelry that I was selling. So this is something that you could physically take with you to a show. And you can write your SKU number, you know, how many you have, a little description of it what the price was, did it sell, right? And you could, it's, it's, it's all like kind of graph papery for you right here. And then, you know, if you wanted to put pictures or use it as a bead journal, it has graph paper and then it also has dot paper. Um, so I just thought that was interesting. And then it's got little places to keep your receipts and things. And this is the heavy duty paper that you can also paint on. You can decorate the cover and right here, it tells you the size. So it's 11 by eight. So yeah, like a regular size piece of printer paper, kind of. So I thought that was interesting for like, with this for the show, cause I used to have a whole notebook made out of just like ledger. And I mean, like you could just go get a ledger, like you can get one at Walmart. You don't have to do anything snazzy, but I thought that these were pretty cool since I like this system anyways. So I don't know, maybe it's worth the thing. Cause then you could schnazz it up and do all the things, you know? And it is bigger. I do like the little bead journals that I have now, but they are smaller, but that also makes them kind of easier to travel with. So I'm in debate. 
and it's also $29 okay I'm just like mm, that's kind of a lot but I might have a coupon but they did drop that I will say you can't uh, the paper that they use is really good you can't really beat that um, so Delusions also put out their inks. These are re-inkers for the new, for the new ink pads that they just put out, I guess. So you can get those. And yeah. They're doing this diamond dust stuff. And I don't know if this is like, I didn't really get into this. Um, I, I think this is, uh, uh, it's kind of like, I mean, I don't know. I shouldn't say, but to me, it kind of seems like, you know, like, um, Reagan Boss. And they got all stencils and all the stampies and stuff like that. Um, but if I was hoping they would have, I was hoping they would have a bundle with the new stuff because sometimes they give a discount. I still want these Tim Holtz watercolor pencils. I haven't got them yet. They're on my Christmas list. Also, I've never tried Lunar Paste. I know, I bet I know where you got them from. Some tuxedo shirts have shirt studs as buttons. Oh. I have Lunar Paste and Solar Paste, and is it amazing? Is it like texture paste, Mary? I'm, I don't understand. Like it's colored texture paste? Or no, is it like, is it more like ink? I don't get it. I was trying to want to get into it, but I was like, do I need that? See, here's my paints. I got these last Christmas. Jefferson got them for me. And I love them all. And they're shimmery. They have like little shimmery glitter in them. And this is what I paint up my, my, bead, my bead journal with. Hey, Randy, did you clean your desk? No, I did not. I didn't clean it. I'm not going to. I am in protest. <laughs> I am shopping for things on the internet. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> So yeah, any good. That's what's going on. <laughs> Bonnie just laughs at me. So this is Ranger. They did. They sent me an email the other day. And I was just like, okay. I will put that on my Christmas list. But yeah, they're very cute. Um, I was also going to show you since we're here. I don't know if they. I'm sure they do. Oh, thank you for subscribing. These are the Tim Holtz storage tins. I just, I'm showing you this because I get questions about it. So these, this tin right here is for the alcohol inks, but these also, this one also works for the old patina paints. So that one. That one is this one right here. And so on here it's $10.99. Um, I got mine at like Hobby Lobby or something. I didn't order it online. But it's supposed to be for alcohol inks. But this is how I keep all my old patina paints. And I put them in this box so I can shake them all at the same time. And you just shake weight it like this. But it does help keep it together. Because I used to be really bad at storing my patina paints. And then they get all wonkity wonk and achy. There's my mat. Still not clean. Ah. <laughs> uh. Ikea storage is whoops, is also fantastic and cheaper. Ikea, do you have to go to Ikea or can you order from online from Ikea? I'm pushing all the wrong buttons today. Ikea, looks like you can order online. I, 
he is having a spring sale. What do we got rocking here? Oh, this looks like a real bad website for me. <laughs> I'm like, oh, do storage? Oh, bead storage? Do they have specific bead storage or do you have to look for something else? Let me see. Bead storage. Okay. Uh, let's do craft storage. I go two or three times a month. <laughs> $90. I mean, okay. What is that? Hmm, interesting. Yeah, this is a bad place for me. I like this desk. It's like a little craft desk. Oh, okay, I have this thing, kind of. I got mine at the thrift store, but maybe this is why it's where somebody got it. It's not this one exactly, but it's kind of cool. It, like, has things that pop out. I do like this little tub system they got going on here. Because it's like, I have all this stuff that's not put away, and I could just put it in there. I could probably have Jefferson make this for me. You know, with all his extra time. <laughs> this is kind of cute. Little crafty desk. Because they kind of feel like these are like those little cubes and then they put runners in them. You know, like to hold the buckets up. With my luck, my buckets would be too heavy and I'd just rip it off. <laughs> mm, okay. All right. I see you, Ikea. I like this. I could use this for my trash, my recycling, and my cans, or my something else. I don't know what the third one would be for. Maybe I'll need two. <laughs> Ideas and inspiration. Office, kitchen, entryway. Okay, I'm looking at the entryway. What do we got? I don't love it. As is online. Help give these items a second chance or a second home. Oh, thrifting at Ikea? Did you know this was a thing? I like this rug. My cousin Kennedy was looking for a rug like this. Oh, I kind of like this. Weird little desk. Interesting. Hmm. Well, we learn something new every day. I know a lot of people who use Collis SP for beads. I don't know what that means. I gotta go. <laughs> All right, Kay. Well, we hope you have a wonderful weekend. Um, I gotta go too. It's 9.59. I'm gonna have some breakfast and probably coffee and get dressed. And then I'm leisurely going to just um, get my little stuff together for the Taylor's Falls. And I'm going to go to Taylor's Falls today and have a lovely day. 
with Amber, probably. I don't know what else I'll have rocking for the weekend. I keep asking Jefferson if he's coming home, and he's like, I don't know if my car's going to start. It's like, well, go out there and try it. See if it starts. <laughs> yeah, we hope all of you have a lovely, spectacular, amazing weekend. I will have fun at the Taylor's Falls. Shannon will be back next week, so... We should be back to regularly scheduled programming next week where I can do videos and all the things, but I did get all of the things shipped, so there's that. <laughs> I hope you guys have a lovely, spectacular, amazing weekend, and I will I will be working on a behind-the-scenes videos for the members because I didn't do one last weekend, so I should probably do that. Um, so we'll be working on that, but other than that, I don't know if I'm going to really do too much. I'm tired evidenced by this <laughs> i hope you guys have a lovely weekend and i will see you monday <laughs>